Okay, in this video, we're going to look at uh, examples of how to integrate powers of x. Uh, in part one of uh, this series, we derived uh, this formula here, which tells us that the integral of x to the power m is x to the power m plus 1 over m plus 1 plus c, whenever m is different from negative 1 or lean x plus c whenever m is equal to negative 1. So the rule here is uh, to integrate the power of x, we add 1 to the power and then divide by the new power. So let's see how this works out uh, in uh, these uh, few examples. We're going to start uh, with uh, a. So in example a, we have got uh, the integral of uh, 4x to the power 5 minus 4x cubed plus 6x plus 7. So we just uh, integrate these term by term. Um, by the way, dx here means we're integrating with respect to x, exactly the what it meant when we did uh, differentiation. So here, we start with this term, so we're just focusing on the power of x. So we're going to add 1 to 5. It's going to give us 6, and then we're going to divide by 6. Uh, for this second one, the power is 3. Adding 1 gives us 4, and then we divide by 4. Uh, in this case, the power is 1. 81 gives us 2, then we divide by 2. Then for the constant, the power is 0. So adding 1 is going to give us uh, x to the power 1. Then we divide by 1, and then we always say plus c. Uh, then 4 over 6 is uh, 2 thirds, x to the power 6. 4 over 4 for this term is 1, so it's just going to be x to the power 4. And then 6 over 2 is uh, 3x squared. It's going to be 7x plus c. Now, the good thing with uh, uh, these type of problems integration is that we can always check our answer. Because uh, if uh, this answer is correct, if we differentiate it, should give us this expression there. So let's see. Um, derivative of x to the power 4, for instance, is 4x cubed. Derivative of 3x squared is 6x. Derivative of 7x is 7. Derivative of the constant is 0. Derivative of this one is going to be 6 times 2 thirds, which is 4, and then subtract 1. So this is fine. So we can literally mark for our cells and this type of uh, problems. For number two, we've got 12 root x. So integral of 12 square root x uh, minus seven over x squared. Now, um, in this case, we have got uh, a situation because the formula we have got uh, is for integrating powers so we're going to need to write square root x as a power. And then the other issue, the powers we integrate are powers in the numerator. Because here, this is x to the power m over 1, as it were. So we want the power of x in the numerator. So we're going to have to bring this up to the numerator. So we can do that using algebra. So um, square root x is the same as x to the power 1 half. Then 7 over x squared is the same as 7x to the power negative 2. Now we can apply our formula of adding 1 and dividing. So we're going to have 12x here, 1 half plus 1, all divided by 1 half plus 1. Uh, minus 7x to the power negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1. And then plus c. 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. 
so we've got 12 over 3 halves here x to the power 3 halves mm, minus 7x to the power minus 1 over negative 1 uh, 12 over 3 halves is going to be uh, 4 times 2 is going to be 8 uh, 3 halves this is going to be plus x to the power negative 1 plus c so uh, and again if we differentiate this we should find that it gives us this uh, in part c we have the integral of 5x squared minus 3 to the power 2 with respect to x. Um, again here, we're going to have to uh, expand this first um, so that we have got the terms um, 1 by 1. Power of x, power of x, power of x as opposed to this composite function but expanding this is uh, not a big problem for us because it's going to be the square of this first term and then two times the first times the second term and uh, then uh, so this is the formula we're going to use to a b plus b squared so that's going to be 25x to the power 4 minus 2 times 5 times 3. It's going to be 30x squared and then plus 9. Now it looks a bit like the expression we had in the first example. So we just integrate term by term. So for the first term, if we add 1 to 4, we get 5 and then we divide by 5 and then for the second term the power of x is 2 we add 1 we get 3 and then we divide by 3 for the last term the power of x is 0 we add 1 and divide and uh, so we just uh, simplify a bit going to be 5x to the power of 5 minus 10x cubed plus 9x plus c. Differentiating each of these give those terms there. So this must be good. Okay, uh, and then d. In d we have uh, the integral of uh, t to the power 5 minus 3t squared minus 2 all divided by t cubed this is with respect to t um, so again this time we're going to simplify by dividing each of uh, these terms by t cubed so we're going to have t to the power 5 over t cubed minus 3 t squared over t cubed minus 2 over t cubed um, and then we simplify one by one. So the first one is going to be t squared. Second one is going to be 3t to the power negative one. And then the third one is going to be minus 2t to the power negative three. And then now we can apply our formula. So for the first one, we add 1, we get 3, and then we divide by 3. For this second one, we add 1, we get 0, divide by 0, but we don't divide by 0. And then we remember, this is actually the case where the power is negative 1. So that one is going to give us lean. So whenever you find uh yourself being tempted to as it were to divide by zero it means the integral is actually the natural log then for the last term we add one uh, we're going to get minus two and we divide by minus two so this is going to be t cubed over three minus three lean 
t then this is going to be plus now t to the minus 2 plus c okay so that is uh, that so we are now just going to give you a few examples uh, for you to try and uh, to see whether you understand the technique uh, and then uh, yeah all right uh, so please have a go at uh, these uh, uh, four examples here uh, so if you just want to pause the video and uh, go through these the last one here is uh, uh, integral of 2 square root t into 2 squared minus 1 over t squared just uh, have a go at them pause the video and then when you continue the video you can compare with our solution all right, um, we're now going to um, scroll down to our solution of these uh, uh, examples here. Can we um, encourage you to press the subscribe uh, button and uh, like the video? And uh, if you do have any questions on any parts of this video, do post uh, your comments in the comment section. All right, thank you. So um, for E... Uh, it's just the powers here of uh, x so we simply uh, add 1 and uh, divide so here the power is 1 it becomes 2 power is 2 here becomes 4 here it becomes 5 and then we divide by each power each time and then we of course leave uh, all fractions in their simplest form this one we have got to first uh, rewrite these so right, this is 2x to the power minus half, this one 7x to the power minus 1. Then we add 1 and divide here. Here we notice that if we add 1 and divide, we're going to divide by 0. So it means this is the natural log. Uh, and then we simplify. And so that is our expression. Uh, this time we need to expand this power of 2 first. Uh, so it gives us uh, this. And then we bring these to the numerator. And then integrating, this one gives us 3t cubed. This one gives us uh, 6 lean t. This one gives us 2 to the minus 3 over 3. Uh, here again, we need to remove the brackets first. So right, this is t to the power half. Multiply with this, gives us t to the power 5 halves. Multiply with this one gives us t to the minus 3 halves. Then we add 1 and divide in each case. This becomes 7 on 2. This becomes minus half. And then we simplify. And uh, that is that. All right. Thanks for watching.